two perennial title favourites, a long-lost champion and three solid challengers are all ready to make noise in Group B. Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv has a new coach and returning stars like Alex Tyus and Devin Smith, but will not plan to take any opponent lightly. For us, it's a big challenge to start well. We're starting at home against Limoges, it's very important. We're going to two away games, uh, difficulty places in Cheska, in Alba, Berlin, and uh, we need to, to take the couple of the first places. Another new boss, Dimitri Sitoudis, will work with seasoned talents like Milos Teodosic and Viktor Kriapa to avenge Seska's loss to Maccabi in last season's semi finals. Unicaja Malaga, with the EuroLeague's all-time shot blocker Fran Vasquez, stands as the most seasoned challenger behind Maccabi and Cesca. Maccabi and Cesca, we don't need to talk about them. They are probably two teams that uh, they can get it uh, Final Four probably again. And there are no doubts that they're going to be first and second, second and first. We're going to try to be competitive for be third. We need to be absolutely stronger here at home you know, for, for trying to go to the top 16. Unicaja will have its work cut out for it. However, with ambitious and well-supported opponents like Alba Berlin and Sedevita Zagreb. We have a tough group, especially with uh, two, two big clubs, CSKA and uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv. But other teams, I, I think we can beat them. I think we, we're in a tough group. I'm just excited to play against some of the best players and and uh, just try to show people what, what um, our team can do. Last but not least, Limoges CSP, the only French continental champion ever back in 1993, is very much a wild card in its long-awaited EuroLeague return. For us to be successful, um, this is probably the best group for us to be in. Um, you know, we do have a couple powerhouses, but, um, you know, I like to take game by game, and you never know what can happen.